Hello, everybody. I'm Aquatavius, your host, your one and only, and welcome back. It has been quite a while. It has been about two months since the last episode, but we're here, we're back, and we're ready to get right into it. So the first thing to talk about is actually something that happened in the last episode. If you want to check that out, go to the end of the previous episode. And uh, yeah, we died to a Minecraft bug, and a trident broke our shield and killed us. So we had to make another shield which means it used up our wood. And now we're starting to see a problem because out here in the middle of the ocean, we do not have trees, so we have no wood, which means at some points, our shield will break again and we're not gonna make another one. So this uh, lame excuse for armor, <laughs> this iron's about to break, is totally not gonna be good enough for us. So we have to go down and grab more diamonds. Uh, which is another issue because this is the only healthy diamond pickaxe we have. And we're going to use it to hopefully get enough diamonds to repair at least one of these pickaxes to then mine for more diamonds to then just repair it again. And hopefully we'll make a profit in diamonds. We should slowly over time make a profit in diamonds, which, which is a good thing. Uh, but another problem occurs is that when we try to do that and repair our diamond pickaxes, we don't have a lot of levels. Partly because we died last episode, which is a little bit frustrating. So because we don't have all of these levels, uh, we need to also do something about that. Uh, but we don't really have a way to do much. For example, enchanting. We can't get bookshelves. They need wood. So like, what are we going to do? So yeah, there's a bunch of stuff that we have to try to figure out. But while I'm trying to figure that out, we're just going to go into the mines and see what we can do in the diamond department. Now, I did already record part of this episode during a live stream. If you guys want to participate in the live streams and see all the work happen live and some funny outtakes and <laughs> silly moments, uh, you can always follow at aquatavius.dtv. You know, that would be cool if I had my own website, but no, ttv.op... <laughs> Just look at the description, you know where to find me. So yeah, we're going to go over everything we did during the live stream, and I'll catch you right at the end of it and continue on forward. We do have a special project that we need to do today, so I'm excited about that. And yeah, I will see you there. So the last time we left off, we mined over in this direction. We found diamonds over here in this corner and some more over this way. So we're going to continue along the left wall here and see what we can get. Okay, so we did this entire wall behind us. And other than a little lapis, iron, and redstone, we found no diamonds. And I did get quite a scare because <laughs> I finished this and even dug the little hole here for our sea pickles to light this up. And our pickaxe is on three durability left. Yeah, good thing I checked again. So now we're on our final pickaxe. And I'll see you when we find diamonds, if we find any. Oh, oh my. Okay, so what I was gonna do is just make another row back behind all of these. So I figured I'd start by connecting them and we ran into diamonds. It was trying to be sneaky, it was playing hide and seek with us. Ooh, this is a nice sight. Oh yes. Oh my, yeah, wow. wow. That's amazing. We now have nine diamonds. Oh, so that would have been the diamonds, I believe, in both of these chunks. So yeah, I'm going to make the call to not advance further in this way and instead move on to the next chunk. <laughs> Subskeleton ran into some trouble. Ooh, finally reached level 15 again. I was just going to say, though, I feel like we're building our own death trap here. It's like there's so many little tunnels and stuff. I'm like, anything could sneak around the corner at any time. Hey, wow, we're looking out today. Oh, wow. wow. So we have seven. I will totally take that. Seven is so good. So now we have 16. This is going so well. Why? We ended up doing a whole extra row of chunks on this side, and we didn't get anything new. We still have the 16 diamonds here, which is awesome to find a 7 and an 8 vein. But yeah, our pickaxes are practically done. So we're going to have to spend 4 diamonds to repair, which will leave us with a profit of 12. 
And then hopefully we could find more diamonds with the repaired pickaxe. What we could really use is an enchanting table, but we don't have leather for any bookshelves. So we'll repair this up. Grab some more sea pickles. Mr. Dolphin! He's playing with our sea pickles! What are you doing? What are you doing? Those are our sea pickles! We're dancing! So we got our sea pickles. Pretty cool, one stack of bone meal gives us about five stacks of sea pickles. Get that little shuff, shuff, shuffle, 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 dance, shuffle. Get that little shuffle, dance, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. I'm not okay. Should I put that in the video? Fine, I'll put it in. Placing a torch on water gets rid of the water? What? I gotta try this again. Okay, water down. Torch. I never knew that. He's coming to visit. Hi, friend. Hi, friend. He. <laughs> I'm not that good at making friends. I'll forever be lonely. Hit that like button so I'm not lonely. Okay, this is why I'm lonely. <laughs> Ah, uh. there it is. Keep our shield up just in case there's anything bad here. Okay, when I said if there's anything bad here, I didn't mean my skills at Minecraft. <laughs> yeah, I'm beating you to it in the comments. You can't hear the confidence, bro? Maybe that's because I just lack confidence. Have you ever thought of that? Yeah, didn't think so. <gasps> yes! Yes! Diamonds! Woo! I was starting to get worried it's been so long. Watch it only just be one. Oh, we're getting so lucky with these patches. Oh, yes! Yes! Keep it coming! Oh, my goodness. It's an 8 Vader. Again. I hear lava around and I'm not risking this at all. So that leaves us with 20 diamonds now. Let's keep trudging on. Okay. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Oh! Oh, we found more diamonds! Yes! Oh my goodness, are we gonna luck out again? No, okay, so it's just four. Which is enough to repair this pickaxe all the way back up to full health. And this pickaxe got us, like, what, eight more diamonds before? So we've profited with this repair of our pickaxe. Eight diamonds. We're slowly becoming richer. Let's go! I don't know why I threw my pickaxe. We're gonna try to make ourselves out of this maze here. Oh my, <laughs> where are we? Okay, back into the main room, safe and sound. So we're gonna repair one of our picks and keep on going. I thought it was raining, but it's, it's the water running. Yeah. Wow, this costs 11 levels. We have 20 levels right now. This costs 11 to repair. Okay, so no matter what, we will at least make a chest plate. The thing is, I don't want to spend all of this, all of the diamonds on our armor, and then not have any diamonds to repair our pickaxes, which are the very things that give us the diamonds. I wasn't paying attention to our pickaxe again, and we have three durability on it. Like I said, one day we're gonna break one of these. Enemy spotted. Ooh. Oh! Oh, we found a cave! <gasps> Diamonds! Let's go! All right, I like this. It's a suitable place for a guy named Aquatavius. This could be our bathtub. All right, let's get these diamonds, see how many. Oh, three. Oh, more? Even more! We are so lucky today! Honestly, this is a pretty nice place. We can just chill in here. Yo, hot tub stream. Or even more. Okay, so we have 26 diamonds now and we still have a pretty good health pickaxe. Guess what we can do? We're upgrading, boys, we're upgrading. And we could also get the diamond pants. Nice. A diamond helmet, super nice. And yeah, we're gonna keep these diamonds to repair our pickaxes just in case. I don't believe we are perfectly ready to get a full set. So we're gonna do just a tiny bit more of mining. Try to find more diamonds so that we can get the booties and have a full diamond set. Ah, uh, hi, future Aquatavius here. I didn't have a good transition for what's about to happen next because the last thing that I said was that we were going to continue mining. 
And as we can see, we're here in the future. I still have my iron booties on. So yeah, I don't really have a good segue into what happens other than uh, just just watch. J just, 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 just watch. And it's daytime again. We haven't, s oh, oh, yes. Yes. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. 121 days. Finally, Mr. Wandering Trader shows up. Okay, well, he does have a pumpkin, so we can carve it, I believe, with shears so that we can get an iron golem, so that'll help us with our slime farm. We need to get our emeralds. We need to find where our emeralds are. Okay, so we have eight emeralds. Okay, so we'll get one pumpkin. And we're not going to get anything else. You, you gave me mushrooms? Why, why can't I pick up these mushrooms? Is that his poop? I don't know, man. Oh, there's, there's a skeleton here. Don't you hurt my babies. We need to tame these guys. These are going to be important for us. Okay, so we have to do this before they despawn. So we, we need storage. We, we, just need, we just need storage. Let's clear out our inventory of the things we don't need. So I believe we have to kill this guy. Uh, we also need hay bales. So we're going to farm some of this. Okay. I I'm sorry, sir, but uh, your services are no longer appreciated. It, it was nice to meet you. I will see you in the, in the afterlife in the, in the next, next journey or something like that. Uh, just, yeah, go. Okay. They're spitting at me. All right. So we're going to take our string here. We're going to craft it into wool, make carpets, make bales of hay, which I think just wheat works. Ooh, okay. And then we put a carpet. Nice. Okay, so he's our llama now. And then we need to do the same thing here. Yes, okay. And then we get this guy. All right, fantastic. So now I think we need hay bales to breed them. Here's one. Ooh, here's one for you. Oh. He's so cute. Okay, come on. Uh, we need to put these guys somewhere. Oh, and they follow each other. That's awesome. We only need one lead. So right now we'll just build a very basic temporary spot for them to be in. Okay, so we got our family of llamas here, all safe and secure. More babies! <laughs> With their large heads, they look so cute. All right, so we'll leave these guys be. They will grow up. And they're going to become very useful for us. Wow, those... Tho. Those things... Wow, so things are coming together now. And our wheat has also grown. Which is also convenient because we have run out of bread again. So as I promised in the last episode... I should be hired to work on a farm. Ooh, itchy knee. Itchy knee. Ooh. Ooh, that's an itchy knee. Okay, that's not an itchy knee anymore. <laughs> All right, now that this is done, time to feed the llamas. He's just poking his head out. It's like, where are we? We're in the middle of the ocean. So yeah, when they grow up and they're still dressed like the wandering trader, is that just like their default skin now? Like, are they still considered tamed? Or will they despawn because they're technically like the wandering trader llamas still? I don't know. Someone please let me know. All right. Looking good enough for now. Definitely serves its purpose. Gives them an open playpen. They got a little shelter here. They'll have this wheat that'll grow up on both sides. And we are also transporting grass over to here so they have some grass and water. Try to make it a little bit more nicer for them and not as crowded. So we're going to do a couple tasks while we are waiting for them to be able to breed again and also for the babies to grow up. We're going to collect more sugarcane, compost it, farm some of this glorious kelp. Mr. Dolphin strikes back again, playing with our kelp this time. Gonna put this kelp into the composter, breed them up again, eat because we're hungry, grab the rest of the kelp. Yeah, so that's a lot of kelp to compost, and that's just from this one section here. 
and we have all of this. We're gonna worry about that another time. Gonna go visit our secondary island. I thought these dandelions were mini potatoes. I got excited until I remembered there's no such thing as mini potatoes here. Plant more kelp around here, cause why not? Breed them up again. The grass is about a quarter of the way now. We're gonna farm up the wheat. And counter some phantoms for the fun of it. We're gonna sleep, cause sleep is cool. We're gonna wake up, because waking up is even cooler. Tame the grown-up llamas. Start a fight between them all. Stop murdering each other! Guys, cut it out! They do lose health. Oh my goodness, no way. Will it ever stop? Guys, chill. Stop it! You're just going after the children! What are these things? Oh my goodness, guys, stop. They're literally gonna murder each other. Stop! I don't know how to stop this. Wait, hold on. Will, will they want to... Okay, I know they like to caravan when they're led by a lead, so maybe that'll get them out of, like, I'm gonna kill you mode. Be nice. Who did that? We... We good now? All right, I think we're okay. Finally. Thank you. I didn't know I'd have to be a babysitter of adults. <gasps> Why? Stop it. The moment I turn my back on you. Oh my god. I mean, eventually when they kill the one that they're attacking, they'll stop. Okay, you. Uh, at least I got hit. That's good. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Mm. Let's get hay in my hands also. Okay. We. we all right, we're gonna. Jeez, I really don't know how to handle this. We're just gonna try to tame these guys in the process, I suppose. And the reason I'm gonna do that is because, oh my goodness. I'm gonna try to get them all into breed mode, but I can only do that if they're tamed. So we gotta tame all of them and then breed them all and see if this helps. Okay, they appear to have stopped fighting again, but I'm still gonna tame them all anyways. All right, we have tamed all of the adults and we're gonna take the leads off and see if they'll keep attacking each other or not. Please. Thank you. And let's breed them all. I would say so far this is a success. No problems at all. And the grass is about halfway now. And we'll continue farming the wheat because we ran out of hay bales. Just kidding, the wheat is in here, but we're still going to get this anyways. This llama is contemplating life right now. He's like, I exist. I wonder what my place in the stars is going to be. And then we're going to plant everything back up. All right, it is planted back up. And now we can take the remaining seeds and put them in the composter. <laughs> and that should do it. Still got a nice stash of bone meal. And then we'll take our wheat, make a bunch of hay bales, make a ton of hay bales, make more carpets, tame, tame, and breed some more. No one saw that. At least a bonus to this is that we are getting some XP. Just like that, we're back up to level 20. This is honestly pretty cool. And the grass is about three quarters of the way here. Now another little task that we're gonna do while we're waiting is while I was going through our stuff, I found more fish to put into our aquarium. And honestly, I, I hate to say it to my poor fish friends, but I forgot what we caught. Ooh, nice lime green. I like it. it might be the first of its kind here. I forgot error is a thing. Ooh, I guess I'm not so aquatavious after all. All right, three left. Ooh, okay. Very nice. They look well adjusted. You know, it is really nice to know that this spider farm that we made in, like, episode two is really coming in handy to turn this into wool. Not only for our bed, but to turn into carpet so that we could, uh, end up mass genociding these guys. So for right now, we're not gonna breed anymore. We're just gonna have the other ones grow up. We're gonna tame them and then section off a few of them, slaughter them so that we can progress. Hey, get out of my shot! Yo, I should not have punched there. I would have started another all-out war. We gotta be more careful. I think he saw us. He's judging us. <laughs> I... <clears throat> aye, aye, Captain. No. <laughs> I think this should be good enough for us. I don't think we have any more babies. So we're gonna tame the rest. Oh, that's cool. You can hop from llama to llama. Oh my, I have a brilliant idea for this for a later episode. Hey, looks like we have a bunch of volunteers. <laughs> They're all lining up to get in. All right, this should be plenty. Yep, so we still have a healthy population this way. And, uh, yeah. Thank you guys for being cute and cuddly. And you're gonna help us in ways that you'll have to watch the future episodes to find out. Um, I know you guys will do that in the afterlife. So, yeah. Make sure you hit the like button while you're there and subscribe if you haven't. Haha, <laughs> so clever. Oh, they're nodding their heads. They're gonna do it. Okay, thank you. I appreciate you guys. Rest in peace. Ah!
Ah, so the neat thing about it is we do get our carpet back, and we have nine leather now, which is fantastic because we can make paper, and paper and leather make... Oh, I thought we were only going to get three books out of this. Sweet. We got nine books. Then we could take one of these books and some obsidian, which this might be a little bit dangerous. All right, so that's four pieces of obsidian. And put it all together, we get an enchanting table. Now, this enchanting table isn't going to be super useful entirely on its own. We need to get it bookshelves, which is where we're going to have to sacrifice our oak planks. And what I'm also going to do is go around the entire base and look in every single storage compartment we have and find every last drop of wood that we have. Oh, okay, we have 14 birch planks right off the bat. This is amazing. Since when did we have this many birch planks? I literally found like a whole ton right here. Yeah, not even worried. Even though this is the only wood we have, we have been doing an amazing job with being able to progress and manage our resources in a smart way. I'm very proud of us so far. So that means we can actually make a lot more bookshelves than I originally anticipated. And there we go. That's two bookshelves. Now, we do need to find a corner for this to go. I kind of want to put it right here. Yeah, this is a good spot. So we're going to put the enchanting table in the middle. Oh, that looks beautiful. So this is definitely an enchanting table. I know it looks blue. I just have a mod that makes it appear blue. And enchantments, instead of having the purple glow, it's blue. Because, you know, I'm Aquatavius and I love the color blue. Otherwise, it's exactly the same thing. Look at that. It is so nice to see this menu. Now, we do not have a silk touch, so we have to do this right. So I'll just put two here. Grab some lapis. And let's just put a book and see what we get. Okay, uh, not that impressive. Gonna admit. Uh, maybe we get something for our pick. Ooh, efficiency too. All right, this is kind of promising. I think we're gonna make more bookshelves, but we have to get more llamas to get more leather. So how about we do another slaughter mission? Anyone down? I'm down. I'm so down. Oh my gosh, let's kill these guys. Bro, hardcore parkour. All right, guys, thank you. You know the drill. Like and subscribe. Just kidding. <laughs> All right, we got 11 leather. It would be really nice if we had looting because then we would just get a ton more leather. So let's see how many more bookshelves we can make. All right, four more. And we still have a bunch of wood left over. All right, it's a little lopsided. Okay, so we get level 12 enchantments. Uh, let's see if we get anything good. Ooh, unbreaking two. For a diamond pickaxe. All of our tools, actually. Hmm. I think we should breed the llamas a little bit more. And we have about 20 levels, so I'm going to try to get a level 20 enchantment here. So we're just going to breed them all up, and we'll just spare the babies. And we'll let them grow up later. I know we're making the numbers kind of small over here, but it's going to be worth it. You know, I will say, the great thing is, when you hurt one of them, the rest of them do not attack you. It's just the one that you hurt. So we'll grab some more sugarcane and get ourselves more bookshelves. Now, the thing is, I'm only going to get one bookshelf at a time and slowly progress the leveling of the enchantment table. And if we need to get two lower level enchantments and then combine them so then we can get the higher level one, that may be something we have to do. So there's one. Ooh, looting one! It costs three levels. Oh! 16 levels on breaking three on our pickaxe. Oh, that is so amazing. I could check the armor, but on breaking three on our diamond pick, that's what we're ultimately looking for. So we have to get it. This way we can get a ton more diamonds per pickaxe without needing to repair it all the time. So let's do it. And we got efficiency three. Okay. All right. This is like the first big power up that we are getting. This is amazing. And yeah, see, it's covered in blue glow, not purple. I am so happy with this. Okay, so we have 18 levels now. I'm breaking two. Okay, see, that's a really good book to get. What I can do is check for like aqua affinity and respiration. That'll definitely help us because obviously we're in an ocean. So I suppose the sword or the axe, can the axe get looting? Let me know down below if it can. I have no idea. But yeah, I suppose unless we get another good pickaxe, uh, we'll just shoot for a sword. Try to get some looting on here. So we will grab the unbreaking two. Ooh, okay. So Aqua Affinity. Oh, Fortune. Okay, I think we're going to stop the enchanting right now. We're just going to hang on to the Unbreaking 2 book. The thing is, levels are definitely going to be a issue. A issue, a problem, an issue, an issue. If anybody has watched Star Trek The Next Generation with Captain Picard, they know exactly what I'm talking about. And so, yeah, I believe we're going to stop here. 
the level issue is going to be something that we're going to tackle in the next episode. We're going to try to get more effective ways to get XP. I am very happy with today's episode. The lovely surprise of the Wandering Trader has definitely pulled through for us. Oh, and speaking of which, the grass has finally grown to the other side. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode where we will work on an XP method. And we'll finally try to get ourselves some diamond booties, which are about to break. So I'll see you guys in the next one or any of the live streams if you guys want to tune in for that. Remember to comment any suggestions about what we should be tackling in the near future. And I will see you all in the next one. Hopefully this one won't be so long of a wait for the next episode. All right. I love y'all and peace out. Ta-ta. All right. It's connecting. Test. One, two, three. Test. One, two, three. Test. One, two, three. Test. Ooh. One, two, three. Test. Ooh. One, two, three. Test. Ooh. One, two, three. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah, yeah. Test. One, two, three, four, one. Yeah, yeah. Three, four, one. Yeah, yeah. Three, four, one. Yeah, yeah.